Dad. Welcome back to the front three. The Premier League is back. The international break is over and we are pumped. The game we're going to talk about today is the Liverpool versus Manchester United game in the Premier League. A game of two halves. United really did dominate the 50-50s in the first half. And Liverpool started to get their play together when Firmino moved to number nine. And to play that sort of false nine role, coming to the ball and combining with the likes of Saidu Mane and combining with Coutinho. For me, Jurgen Klopp made a, a bit of a mistake in a way of playing Daniel Sturridge. Liverpool have looked so good in the bigger games when Firmino has been in the middle because he can lead the press and, you know, put the sting on the opposition. And Herrera really found it easy to get out of the tackle, get out of the press in the first half. Completed five out of five take-ons during the game, but the majority of those came in the first half and that was because Liverpool's press was a little bit weak. With Firmino there, that completely changed and the numbers that Liverpool had the ball around the ball was absolutely fantastic, but also Lallana's introduction. I think the game would have been very different if Lallana hadn't had his groin injury and could have started because United would have had a little bit more to deal with in terms of the press and would have struggled a bit more in the final third and Liverpool would have created a few more chances there, but I do think it was a bit of a mistake for Klopp to start Daniel Sturridge. On to Mourinho, he got it right in so many different ways. I think his approach in the big games is perfect for me. It's very... Alex Ferguson-esque, you go back to those games, you'd slow the game down and get numbers behind the ball and you look to hit on the counter-attack. United are going to get there in terms of the break again, their counter-attack wasn't quite there in terms of their transition from defence to attack. Needs to improve in that respect. And to Paul Pogba massively needs to improve his decision-making. But in a defensive sense, he got everything right. A narrow back four dealt with the Liverpool narrow front three and they United covered the Liverpool fullbacks. An outlet that Liverpool have created a lot of chances for both of those two players, Milner and Nathaniel Klein, have, have created 14 chances in the Premier League from fullback. That's the best of any defender in the Premier League, those two players. Nathaniel Klein absolutely shut down by Ashley Young in terms of his Ashley Young's work rate to cover him, but also to block off those chances. Nathaniel Klein failed to create a chance against Manchester United, and I think that is a big deal. And it's a big bonus for Mourinho and a big bonus for Manchester United that they can do this in the big game because they got absolutely torn apart by Liverpool, especially in the number 10 slot. And that was a dangerous area that Liverpool could have exploited but didn't. Well done to Mourinho. I think you got a better of Jurgen Klopp this time, but let's get excited for the next one. Always love the clash of two big, big managers in the Premier League. Anyway, I've been Dave on the front three. Make sure you go and check out three talking points over on Dave Talks to get a little bit more analysis and a little bit more fun. Anyway, see you later.